Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Hey. So today we're going to do another installment of hashtag use your stash. So I have a couple of products that are relatively new to my stash due to a recent main choice sale. You all know if you follow me on Instagram as well as here on the community portion of YouTube that I always post when main choice or any other company that I enjoy is having a sale. So this particular sale, everything was 60% off and the shipping was completely free. So I did, I did pick up a few things. I have used these a couple of times, but I haven't used them on my channel yet. So the first product that I'm going to be trying for you guys is the Proceed With Caution Slippery When Wet Shampoo. And this has Japanese cherry and chia seed oils. And it does claim that it's for all hair types. And just like any other main choice products, of course, it's infused with biotin. It also has vitamins A, C, D, and E. This says that it is a pH balancing formula. It claims to leave hair tangle free and soft, deliver long lasting moisture and shine, and is gentle enough for daily use. Obviously I don't shampoo my hair every day. Because this is another installment of hashtag use your stash, I am going to be using up my Cheers Supreme Strength Conditioner. You all know if you watch my main choice Cheers collection review that I do really enjoy this conditioner. It's really nice and buttery, and it also gives you a good boost of protein as well. So I'll be using that today just to give myself a little protein treatment and then as a leave-in I'm going to be using the proceed with caution for way conditioner as you can see I've already been using this really really like this so far this might actually be my favorite main choice leave-in conditioner I've tried the original three-in-one conditioner I've tried the prickly pear conditioner and I've tried the exotic kool-aid conditioner all of those claim that you can use them as like co-washes leave-ins tanglers rinse out conditioners deep conditioners etc etc but personally because of how expensive and how small the packaging is I always use them as leave-ins and so far this has been one of my favorites so I'm going to be using this today if you're following me on Instagram you are aware that I have been in the gym and on my fitness you know what I'm saying so with me being consistent in the gym I'm going to have to ditch braid outs for the time being so today I'm going to be doing a wash and go and I'm going to be trying the ancient Egyptian anti-breakage and repair antidote 24 karat glistening gold twisting gel so the plan is to use a 24 karat gel for a wash and go however you all know if things go left I am quick to call an audible so my hair is already wet and I'm just gonna go ahead and get my wash day started and then I'll come back with my final thoughts on everything
Okay, so I'm all done applying the Proceed with Caution 4-Way Conditioner and the Ancient Egyptian 24 Care Gel. I have high hopes. I will say I was very heavy handed because of how lightweight the gel feels. But now that it's starting to dry down on this side, I do feel like the cast is going to be pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and sit under the dryer and then I'm going to come back and give my final thoughts. Okay, so I just came from under the dryer and these are my results using the 24 karat gel. But let's go ahead and do a recap. So first I went in with the main choices proceed with caution slippery when wet shampoo. I have used this before but never on my channel. I do really enjoy this. This claims that it's going to give you soft tangle free hair and that's not necessarily my experience with this. I've mentioned previously that when I use a moisturizing shampoo I do often see if I have that extra cherry on top of slip. That hasn't been my experience using this. However I do really enjoy how thoroughly this cleanses my hair and scalp. I typically only shampoo once however I I did go in a second time with this just to get a better lather and to make sure that my hair was good and clean. I will say that my hair did feel soft upon rinsing this out, but it didn't really leave my hair tangle free. However, I do really enjoy this. It smells really nice and fresh and lemony. So definitely pick this up if you're interested. Once I rinsed the shampoo out, I did go in with the Main Choices Cheers Conditioner. You all know from my review of this collection that I do really love this. The conditioner is really nice and buttery and really creamy and the slip is really good on it. I will say that this does have proteins in it, so it really strengthens the hair and helps with reducing shedding. But once you rinse it out, I will say that your hair doesn't feel hard, but it does feel strengthened. So I really enjoy using this when I just need a quick shot of protein. I did leave this on uncovered with no heat for about five minutes and I rinsed it out with cool water. The only complaint that I have about this, the bottle is really impossible. Like you have to really, really squeeze it really firmly. You can probably see the packaging is all rippled from me fighting with this bottle to get the product out, but it's a really good product. The scent is really nice and light. It does kind of have a mild kind of Corona, Budweiser, Michelob type of scent. It's not super offensive, it's nice and lightweight and it also doesn't linger. Plus, it's 12 ounces. So if you're in the market for a quick shot of protein and you want to give this a try, I would definitely recommend. So after I rinsed the Cheers Conditioner, I did go in with the Proceed with Caution 4-Way Conditioner. And this is a 4-Way Conditioner because you can use it as a co-wash, leave-in, detangler, or as a regular rinse out conditioner. Typically with these multi-use conditioners from The Main Choice, they're only eight ounces, so I'm going to strictly use them as leave-ins. This one so far has probably been my favorite, like I said before. It's really nice and moisturizing, nice and slippery, and it has that same kind of fresh lemony scent as the shampoo. With The Main Choice conditioners that I have tried, I found that applying them on towel dried hair has worked best. Otherwise, if your hair is dripping wet, I find that the conditioner kind of lathers. I guess that kind of jump starts the co-washing factors that these have but like I said I exclusively use these as leave-ins these bottles are too small and low-key too expensive to rinse out for me but if you use them as a pre food or deep conditioner or as a rinse out more power to you but I ain't so I've used this on wet damp and dry hair so if you're in the market for a main choice conditioner definitely pick this up and let me know your thoughts and once I went through and applied the leave-in in all the sections I did go in and pretty heavy-handedly apply the 24 karat gel from the main choices ancient Egyptian line first of all this gel smells so good it smells like fresh green apples. As far as the scent of all of the main choice collections that I've tried, that smell is my absolute favorite. So fresh. As you can see, my hair is nice and shiny and defined. I have volume as well. Out of the Cheers Gelato, the Braid Out Glaze, and this Ancient Egyptian Gel, this one's probably the most lightweight. So I will say that I was a little leery when I was applying it and I was very heavy handed just to kind of make sure that I got the definition and the hold that I wanted. This gave me great definition, but it was also lightweight enough to where it gave me volume in the roots. My hair isn't smushed and compact to my head, which I really enjoy. And it's soft, but I can still tell that there's a hold. As far as the stickiness, this is probably pretty competitive with the gelato. I will say that the gelato, 
because it's a little thicker, gives me a little bit more tackiness. This one does have some tackiness to it. Because I'm familiar with Man Choice products, of course, I know that in a day or so, it's going to dry down and I'm just gonna be left with a great cast on my hair as opposed to a tackiness. Also, with it being lightweight, I don't have as much elongation, which I'm not necessarily mad at because again, like I said, I've been in the gym, so I don't really want anything on my neck or on my shoulders or anything like that. If I'm going to work or if I'm going to be social, I will probably stretch my hair out with these satin scrunchies. And I'll use these because they won't leave like a, a dent in my hair. I would like to think that this was a pretty successful hashtag, use your stash, main choice edition. Be sure to let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.